Hello, everybody. Welcome to Wednesday. The S&P 500 was down almost 1.4% today. We didn't have any changes on our signals. We're still both green on our stock market signals and red on our bond market signals. We've been red on our bond market signals for a while now, especially the slow signal. I think now we can maybe see why. You know, one of the rating in, uh, companies, Fitch, uh, reduced the rating from uh, AAA to AA plus on U.S. government debt, and they're only talking about long-term treasuries, not government, uh, not sorry, not the Ginnie Mae's and other mortgage type bonds, which are still AAA rated, but. Um, I think it is important a couple of things here that are fascinating to me. Number one, uh, we have been red for a while. So the bond market has been underperforming, even though the stock market is doing quite well. So I always feel like there's something going on that we just don't know about yet. Uh, and you know, a lot of these things they try to keep private, but it's not always possible to keep them completely private. So uh, that's why it's really important to always watch the price of motion that's happening because then you can maybe see some of the news before it even happens. Uh, so the impact of this, I don't think is going to be a really big deal. Uh, even though the market on the stock market was down, you know, today, uh, the bond market was barely down. Matter of fact, some pieces of the bond market were actually up. Uh, and I really feel like the market sets everything. So the bond market is set by the market as a whole. And, you know, although they might have decreased our rating in times of stress, where do they go? The whole world comes here. If you look at what happened in 2020 during the pandemic, our bonds skyrocketed in value, partly because they're rate, lowering rates, but also we're seen as a safe haven, a place to go. Uh, and so that's, I think, more important than any rating agencies. And there's only about seven or eight different countries in the world right now uh, that have a you know highest rating from all three different com uh, you know companies that rate the S and P, Moody's, and Fitch. So I, I wouldn't worry too much about this. I think this really just kind of fits into the narrative of what I've been talking about, which is just that we're going to head into a consolidation zone. I've been talking about that for a couple of weeks now. This is just part of that. This is part of what I consider a healthy market. We're still having a great year for the stock market. We're still up substantially and we still have reverse direction. We were in a primary downtrend last year. We are in a primary uptrend this year and that hasn't changed even a little bit. So uh, we should be able to go sideways here for a little while. August, September historically can be kind of soft months for the stock market. So maybe that will continue for a while, uh, but it's okay. Uh, this is a good thing. If we're going to continue to ratchet up higher, you know, we're going to have to have this consolidation zone. And I really think it's more important, you know, what happens here in terms of earnings. So for example, Apple's going to be reporting earnings uh, coming up here, uh, you know, on, after hours on Thursday, how do they do that probably have more impact in my opinion, uh, than what happens here with this uh, downgrade in the bond rating. Secondly, uh, the D Department of Labor reports the big jobs report uh, on Friday. Uh, and so today, one of the things that did kind of push the market down, a little bit was that the ADP private company report came out. 324,000 jobs were created uh, last month, which is generally a good thing, but in an inflationary environment, the market does worry about too many jobs being created. I personally don't because I think in order to get rid of service inflation, you need to have more people come into work to make that happen because that's one of the restrictors that we have that's pulling back on our supply. Uh, but market does seem to respond negatively to that because there's some concern that the Fed might be raising rates. And so we'll see what happens on Friday with that uh, Department of Labor report that comes out also. So, you know, we're in a period that we're going through consolidation. So negative news is probably going to get a little bit more impact uh, during this period than positive news. Uh, again, we need to be able to settle down after that big run that we had, really that kind of artificial intelligence uh, inspired run uh, and debt ceiling solved run, all those things that happened really since the beginning of May uh, up until, you know, about two or three weeks ago uh, are, you know, really great and all really good things, but I think the market got ahead of itself and it needs to settle in here a little bit. So I think things will be okay. Uh, you know, we'll keep watching. Uh, we have a system, you know, we're still green on our two stock signals. That's important. Uh, and so we'll keep watching. We'll let you know what's happening and we'll, you know, kind of, you know, make responses to, you know, what happens here uh, as need be. Uh, and so, you know, we'll see what happens along, you know, the lines of continuation on down or sideways or what goes on. So look forward to talking to you about that tomorrow. Thank you very much.